Vegans would argue that insentient fetuses have no moral value and that you cannot harm what isn't sentient. So it's not immoral to abort the pregnancy or do something to the fetus. Fair enough. Let's now imagine a pregnant woman with insentient fetus inside her womb. And she is drinking, smoking, and using drugs. But she will stop right before the fetus becomes sentient. We cannot say that she is harming a sentient fetus because the sentient fetus doesn't exist. Some vegans would object on this very idea of it, and some other would say it would be wrong if the woman doesn't abort before the child's sentience. But that exactly is the issue. As long as the existence of sentience is required for moral value, rights, moral consideration, etc., you cannot have all of that without sentience. Those vegans assume the future sentience in order to say that something cannot be done in the lack of sentience. And another point is that vegans cannot know that the fetus will or will not become sentient. A woman could plan to abort so she drinks, smokes, and uses drugs, but at the last moment has a change of heart and wants to be a loving mother and ends up with a defective child. What if we have another woman who discovers that her child has defects on its own, but she chooses to give birth to it? In both scenarios, women let the fetuses with deformities to become sentient. The only difference is that one of them caused it by using substances during the time the fetus was just quote-unquote an insentient pile of tissue. If it's ethical to abort rather than for a child to suffer, when develops sentience, then it seems to be the case the other woman would also have to abort. That sounds like eugenics. Then, if vegans believe a woman has a right to do with her body whatever she wants, which would include giving birth to a defective child, then vegans would have to agree that she would have the right to give birth to a child with defects caused by her smoking, drinking, and using drugs. Otherwise, they would be the so-called anti-choicers. Just like with previous videos about veganism and sentience, we reached some eyebrow-raising conclusions where probably even some vegans would have a problem with.